Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Isa, and today's video is another DID behind the scenes because that's all we can do at the moment. And we are very glad that all of you are very understanding and that you all don't get tired of our behind the scenes videos. They're kind of not only behind the scenes videos, they really, really show an insight on what we have to deal with day by day. And <sighs> grab yourself something to eat or drink, make yourself comfy, and enjoy me or us rambling about dissociation days, dissociation in general, and why we can't function. So let's get started. Well, firstly, okay, um, what can you do on days like these? Pretty much nothing, pretty much nothing. Um, 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 What should I talk about first? Um, dissociation. Dissociation is... <sighs> um, I'm, I'm incredibly sorry. I wanted to try and explain what dissociation is, but I just keep dissociating and my mind is just blank and I'm sorry if I don't get something right. Dissociation is... Um, So, 
I hope someone popped on screen what a little explanation on what the association is. So at least what it feels like. It kind of feels like you disconnect from your body and depersonalization and derealization can be part of dissociation. Depersonalization is when you feel like the things you are experiencing aren't your experience. So for example, when you do something, you don't feel like it's you yourself doing it. It's different from confronting and it's different from confronting because no other altar is there that's doing that stuff. It's just you being depersonalized so you feel very disconnected to your own body. And the realization on the other hand is when the things around you feel like they aren't real, like you're dreaming, like it's just not really there. It's very confusing, but both of these can be part of dissociation and it's very annoying. So what can you do when you dissociate? Especially when you tend to dissociate a lot. The first thing that would be worth trying is grounding yourself. Grounding means that you work on your connection to this, the real world, where you work on focusing that this is there, for example, and you just try to feel it. And grounding kind of means that you try and stay and try and keep being connected instead of just spacing out. But it can be incredibly hard when you're very dissociative because when we dissociate personally like to an extreme extreme level like our whole body stops doing anything so we wouldn't be able to feel this and we wouldn't be able to squish a squishy or listening to something looking watching something or stuff like that so we would just space out and it's incredibly hard then to At least we are very incredibly thank you for all of you being very understanding. So if we wouldn't upload a video, we know that none of you would be mad at us or sad or anything. But we really, really love sharing our difficulty. Difficult, we really enjoy sharing what we struggle with. We really enjoy sharing what our life is like. Because we're not the only ones experiencing these things. And the ones that aren't experiencing these things, it's hard to imagine 
how it would affect someone. It's one thing to hear and be told that people that associate um, aren't really connected to the world or aren't really connected to what's going on at the moment. And it's hard to make a picture of what it actually can look like and what a mess it can cause. Like, I, I really, really try my best in grounding myself. It's just not really working. But don't give up on grounding, just keep doing it and maybe after the hundredth time of doing it, you start feeling progress and you start feeling you start feeling progress, you start feeling a difference. Just don't give up. Um, a little bit to anyone that might be with someone that associates, please, you can definitely help with grounding someone, but please don't do some of the following things because they're incredibly annoying and they really make myself angry and I'm not sure if anyone else is getting angry as well due to these things but please don't do some of the following things that include when the person you're with dissociates please don't Wave your hands in front of their faces or be like or try to figure out what they're looking at because when you dissociate you might not be when you dissociate you're not looking at something it's like you don't look at anything you're like our vision gets blurry and it's like we can't see anything so if you try and figuring out what we're looking at, it won't work. If you try getting in the way of what we're looking at, it doesn't work because we're not looking at something. If you try and wave your hand around, we might sense what you're doing, but it's incredibly annoying because we're not able to like snap out of it. And of course with training and stuff we might be able to do that but just because you're waving your hand in front of your faces doesn't it's not changing anything and it's very annoying <clears throat> next thing please don't poke you please don't poke us like when we dissociate maybe like caress us but don't be like are you there are you there are you there are you there more like being hey i'm here you're here and being more of a calming soothing voice being like comforting instead of are you there 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 i'm not really sure <laughs> what I'm really talking about. This mini video... I'm not even sure what I'm talking about. This video is such a mess. I apologize for that. I just hope you enjoyed our little rambling on about something and Uh, uh. <laughs> and if there's anything you would like 
I'm sorry. Um. Okay. So. Um, I just try to end it here. It's just all of kind of not working. So if comment down below some experiences of yours, comment down below what you think. Comment if you if there's anything you would like to see us do in the future. Subscribe if you're new to our channel, leave a like, check out our Patreon, check out, check out our Ko-Fi and remember that you're loved, remember that you're lovable and you're special. So, lots of love to everyone.